Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Speed Deepin 1939, and today I will be bringing you Super Mario Crossover 2. It is a Flash game that I found a couple years ago, and that I've actually wanted to do a playthrough of for a while. I'm going to be doing every world at, like, at a time, like one world per sitting, pretty much is how I'm going to do this. And essentially, there are three other characters. There is Mario, Luigi, and Sophia the Tank. And I disabled, I went into the options and disabled those three characters for the sole purpose of Mario and Luigi. It's Super Mario Bros, so they're always in you. Like, everyone knows who they are, right? So their attacks aren't anything special. And then Sophia is just completely OP. Uh, so we have these seven characters. Link, Samus, Simon Belmont, Mega Man, Bass, Bill Riser, and Ryu Hayabusa, and I'm going to be beating the game with them. Essentially what's how this is going to work is I'm going to pick one character, play for as long as I can up until I get a game over. Upon getting a game over with one character, I can I no longer have access to that character. This playthrough will end when either I beat the game, or I have no more useful characters. Preferably the former. So, let's get into this. I'm going to start off with my favorite character in this game. Base from Mega Man 10. Whatever. All, all these characters have their own unique abilities and weapons. One of the things I love about Base is that he has a double jump and a fully automatic gun, which just bows through everything. Uh, unlike in Mario Bros., only Mario and Luigi. characters when you get a power up like the fire flower or the mushroom, it just increases their power. Or give you a bonus weapon of some sort. Like uh, for base, I get a metal arm cannon thing. Yay! They did it. Infinite. I actually. Okay, yeah, I will be using the infinite time cheat. That is the only cheat I will use. And that's just. because. you know, I'm cheap. <laughs> Not really. There is a cheat that says any, any, everyone can stomp, but if I activate that, this game is. there really is no challenge in this game. That's where most of like the screw ups come from is uh some of these characters not being able to jump on enemies. Yeah, suck it, Goomba. Ow! Exciting commentary. I'm the craziest this commentary thing, in case you didn't know. But uh, this game actually does get a lot more exciting in the later levels. And also, I will not be taking any warps. I will be meeting every single level of the game. You know, to the greatest of my ability, and by that I mean once we get up to I don't even know what level. Of... And also, I will only only be able to save at the end of each world. And this is actually my second time trying to record this. First time I recorded it. Uh, for some reason, Fraps didn't record it.
I'm not really a big fan of me having to go into the Bowser level without any power-ups whatsoever. But, you know, YOLO, right? Oh, gross. I can't believe I just... Uh, no. Forget I said that. I don't want to have to... Sticks. Now, um, one thing that I haven't mentioned yet is that this is the original Super Mario Brothers levels, but with the Super Mario World skin. When you start playing this game, you can pick like a bunch of different games and a bunch of different skins. Oh man, I jumped into that. Are you kidding me? Yes! Get beat, Bowser. I gotta beat you seven more times now. Yeah! And apparently... Uh... Blah, blah. Apparently Bass is looking for Dr. Wily. Don't know why. But that is it. That is it for this episode. Tune in next time when we take on World 2. Still with Bass.